Welcome to my Brisbane vlog. I am so happy to share with you a couple of things to do in the capital of Queensland in Australia. My mom and I had a little girl's trip to explore Brisbane for the first time. Hope you like this video. We landed at the Brisbane Domestic Airport in the morning. Welcome to Brisbane. We headed to buy a ticket for the air train that leaves directly from the airport. Air train runs every 15 minutes and takes approximately 30 minutes to downtown Brisbane. We also had to buy go-karts that we used for public transport during our stay. Thank you! Hello everyone! If you're new here, my name is Adela and I live with my family in Cairns, Australia. We're currently in our hotel room that will be our temporary home for three days and two nights. Although it's a short stay, I'm very keen to explore Brisbane as much as possible, so keep watching! Meriton Suits is located just a couple of meters away from the Brisbane River, which flows through the city. The Brisbane River is the longest river in southeast Queensland. One of the ways to enjoy the views is to head to the river walk. It's great for walking, running or cycling and connects with the Brisbane Riverside Boardwalk all the way to the Botanic Gardens. We crossed the bridge to the South Bank Parklands and stopped by the Brisbane sign. Then we walked on a kilometer long Grand Arbor walkway. The arbor is constructed out of a curling steel column and is covered in pink flowers. We finished the walk on the iconic Streets Beach Inner City Lagoon. It's surrounded by sandy beaches and subtropical plants, like an oasis in the middle of Brisbane City.
we wanted to take a ride on the Brisbane City Hopa, which is for free, and see the city from a different angle. We arrived at the South Bank and took an easy walk with a few steps to the Kangaroo Point Cliffs lookout. In the past, Aboriginal people used to hunt kangaroos right here on the cliffs. Today, the lookout offers a great scenery of the city.